Change is in the air for the Guyana Police Force, as they embark on a bold modernization plan that promises to reshape their leadership structure. Stay tuned to find out what these changes mean for the future of policing in Guyana. We are diving into the latest developments within the Guyana Police Force. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. As part of an ambitious modernization plan, significant rotations have been announced at the Executive Leadership Team ELT, level. These changes are set to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of the force. Let's break down what this means for the future of law enforcement in Guyana. The Guyana Police Force is undergoing a comprehensive modernization plan aimed at enhancing its operational capabilities and administrative efficiency. This initiative is designed to address current challenges, incorporate advanced technologies, and streamline processes within the force. At the heart of this plan is the rotation of key leadership positions, ensuring that experienced and capable officers are placed in roles where they can make the most significant impact. The recent rotation involves three prominent members of the executive leadership team, Mr. Calvin Brutus, formerly the Deputy Commissioner of Administration, AG, Mr. Brutus, is now the head of Special Branch. His extensive experience in administration will be crucial in overseeing the specialized operations of this critical division. Mr. Ravindradat Boudram, previously serving as the Deputy Commissioner of Operations, AG, Mr. Boudram is now in charge of administration. His operational expertise will bring a practical, hands-on approach to the administrative functions of the force, ensuring that policies and procedures are effectively implemented. Mr. Errol Watts, formerly the head of Special Branch, Assistant Commissioner Watts has taken on the role of overseeing operations. His deep understanding of intelligence and special operations will enhance the strategic and tactical effectiveness of the police force's operational activities. Enhanced leadership. By rotating experienced leaders into new roles, the force can leverage their diverse skill sets and perspectives, fostering a more dynamic and responsive leadership team. Improved efficiency. The new assignments are strategically designed to place leaders where they can address current challenges most effectively, improving overall efficiency and effectiveness. Innovation and adaptability. The modernization plan encourages a culture of innovation and adaptability, crucial for responding to the evolving nature of crime and law enforcement in the 21st century. Strengthened operations. With Mr. Watts now heading operations, the force is poised to enhance its tactical and strategic capabilities, making it more robust in handling complex and high-stakes situations. The rotation of these three key leaders marks a significant step forward in the Guyana Police Force's modernization journey. By placing experienced and capable officers in critical roles, the force is better equipped to meet the demands of contemporary law enforcement and ensure the safety and security of the community. With that said, thanks for watching. And until next time.